Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's Drew Waddell back with another video. Uh, this time we're going to be talking about how to put a third party focus tab onto your Zeiss Biogon. I almost said Simmercron, but that's because we're creating a Biocron or a Simmagon. The world may never know, but that's what we're working on today. So I was actually influenced to do this idea by Mr. Hashim McAdam from his website exaframe.com and his article, A Focus Tab for the Zeiss Biogon ZM Lens, where basically he talks about his experience doing the same thing. And I realized I actually had a 7 Artisans 28mm f1.4 a year ago, hated the lens, but I still have the focus tab from uh, whenever I had the lens and I sold the lens and kept the focus tab. So naturally the thought occurred to me, why don't I do that? And that's what we are going to do today. So let's get started. He said that he used an X-Acto knife and a pen or a Sharpie. So I have a utility knife, which I think is about the same thing as an X-Acto knife, if not the same thing. Got a retractable Sharpie and a Stabilo 0.88 fine pen. I'm not sure which of these is gonna work, but we're gonna go through, give it a try. So about the design of this little Seven Artisans Focus tab. As you can see, it has these two little different pieces of adhesive. And the way that he did it and the way that I'm going to do it is I'm actually going to put this behind the focus nub, as you can see. I'm gonna put it behind the focus nub uh, just because it seems like that's where Zeiss uh, intended you to focus from. And that's what he did, so I'm just gonna copy him. You could also probably put it somewhere else on the focus ring and it would function just as well. That may actually be smarter. Uh, if this doesn't work well at all, if I hate this, I'll probably end up doing that. There is a limited amount of space behind the focus nub. I'd say you have about half an inch, maybe. Maybe half an inch, maybe like 40% of an inch behind there. And you have maybe the thickness of this uh, piece of adhesive is about half an inch. So you do need to cut a good percentage of that off. I'm gonna mark on the end of the adhesive where I need to cut. So I have a general idea. So we'll do that. Line it up behind. <clears throat> Make sure it looks about right. Kind of press, I'm gonna press down a little bit. I'm gonna be slightly conservative with my marking. Let's see about where that is. All right, I can actually see it from this side. So if I need to cut off a little bit more or a little bit less, it shouldn't be that big of a problem to do that. But as you can see, there's marking right there. I'm gonna do one on the other side too, just so I have a point A and a point B. <laughs> I'm not the best at drawing straight lines, so if it gets a little bit crazy, this is gonna help keep me in check. <clears throat> so I said I'm gonna mark a little bit before the actual line, just because you don't wanna mess up a little bit and end up not being able to use your lens without removing the focus tab you just put on. All right, so let's see. Is there anything else I need to keep in mind? I'm gonna go get a wipe and I'll be right back and I'm gonna clean this off before I put the adhesive on. Back, I've got some uh, Pledge multi-surface wipes and a little lens wipe. So I'm gonna go first with this multi-surface wipe and just do a quick wipe on the lens. All right, so now it's looking really clean. So I guess it, it is about time to do the cutting. This is definitely the type of thing to give me a little bit of um, anxiety. Uh, be very careful not to cut yourself whenever you do this. Um, I'm a trained idiot, so this is actually right up my alley. Okay. <sighs> that was just one. To me, it looks about right. So we'll just give it a shot and see how it goes. Okay. Let me go back through just one more time just to double check. The 
it came off mostly, but it looks like I'm gonna have to go back and do just a little bit more. <clears throat> this is not a perfect job. I'm not an arts and crafts person, but I think it'll work. So <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and you know just double check and stick it on and Hail Mary, uh, pray that this works. Ah, it looks like it'll work. Come on, it's gotta work, right? Oh God. Okay, let's see. Okay. I think it works. I think, I, I think it works. <laughs> So, just for comparison, <coughs> so just for comparison, here's the real thing. This is a Leica Simracron 35 millimeter. Uh, I unboxed this in not the last video, but the video before last. It is a really excellent lens and it has a focus tab just like the one that we put on here, except this one is real. So this is how this one works. It's very smooth works perfectly well. I'm gonna take this off my camera. See it? Got that beautiful six bit coating. That like a cap on it. <clears throat> In the moment of truth, everybody. Okay, so of course it goes onto the camera, but how is it to focus with? I guess let's, we'll find out. Oh God. Okay. All right. Okay, I, I've just stuck it on, and this is just my first impression, but this is kind of awesome. Like this rocks. Like this is actually really good. Like if you have a Zeiss lens, and like, you're meh on the focusing or you're not already perfectly happy if you're perfectly happy there's no point in trying this but genuinely i say this from my heart it feels so much better to focus with this focus tab than that tiny little focus nub it's like why why wasn't it like this to begin with like this honestly brings the level of functionality of this lens up to the level of the simicron 28 and it is amazing so it's been a day or two and I've had the chance to mess around with it a little bit more, test it out on my dogs, etc. And let me tell you, this tiny modification really changes the whole ergonomic experience of this lens. It gives it the same minor quirks as my Summicron, like if you're gripping your camera with your fingers too close to the lens on the front, you're going to bump yourself a little bit while trying to focus to infinity. But the focus is balanced on either side, which is a lot easier to notice when you're focusing with the tab. If you've only used the focus nub, then let me explain a little bit what you're missing. With the focus nub, you push it to where you want it to go, or at least that's how I use it. It just occurred to me that there may be people out there who use two fingers with it. It gives you a frame of reference for where you're focused, same as the tab in that way. But unlike a tab, if you want to quickly adjust it and go the other way, the grip just isn't there. The focus tab never requires you to readjust your grip, it just works. If you want to check out this product, then I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Anyways guys, thanks for watching this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe to this channel for more content coming soon. I'm trying to make it past 500 subs, so let's get there together. Thanks for watching and have a good one.